went on a little Target run, which ended up having me buy stuff. And I said, let me treat myself to an Olipop. I haven't really tried many of their flavors, so I wanted to see what the cherry cola tastes like. So we're gonna pour in some ice, we're gonna give it a taste test, and we're gonna see what Austin thinks too. All right, let's see. Austin, tell us what you think. Keep on you. I need it to focus in on you. What the heck? How are you getting so lucky that it's not focusing? <laughs> it's still not focusing. Oh, this good. sucks. He bad. says it's good. Okay. Cheers to such a blurry camera clip. Okay, first weekend vlogging and literally look at my camera right now, Austin. <laughs> this is how I slept last night. It actually wasn't bad and I know I have not perfected the heatless curls because I only go outwards and I'm pretty sure you're supposed to flip inwards and outwards. I haven't mastered it yet, but at least we are trying and I did it with just a robe, um, but I've also done it with leggings before. going for a walk so I'm gonna take these out and put my hair back but we are going to look at <clears throat> wedding venues today we have two wedding venues we're gonna go tour so I figured do some heatless curls so at least my hair would look decent I washed my hair late last night and I didn't feel like styling <laughs> look at this one <laughs> This is without me structuring the waves. They look like ringlets, so I'm gonna just gently take my fingers. <laughs> I'm hoping once I like go for a walk, they'll like calm down a little bit, but the volume though, like that volume was crazy. So this is always, heatless curls are definitely in this year. I feel like you just need to master how to do them, which I'm still clearly doing. But look at how amazing that curl pattern is. So. <laughs> this side, not so much. Not sure what's going on. And I do need to just like situate the top. But overall, not too bad. But I'm going to go for my 20 minute walk. That was a part of my New Year's resolution. So going to check that off 20 minutes and then I need to get ready because we're going to go pick up a free tree in our downtown area and yeah you're just coming along today <laughs> like also remember these are the actual <laughs> I figured I would update you what we've been up to today because it's been very productive. So I woke up, I did my 20 minute walk, which this is an intention slash habit that I am trying to have at least for January one TikTok a day and one 20 minute walk a day. Obviously if I get more steps in, that's wonderful, but at least accomplishing 20 minutes is my goal. And I'm kind of tracking that in my planner, not only with kind of having the check off, but also using a habit tracker, which I just finished Atomic Habits by James Clear. Let me actually get you the book because this is probably one of the best books I've ever read. So I want you to see what the cover looks like. I said if I was going inside, I would also show you what I do on my planner. So anyways, this is the book Atomic Habits by James Clear, and it's an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones amazing book i actually borrowed this from a friend but i liked it so much that i probably will purchase and keep because i think this is a book i could read every single year and either incorporate something new or at least refine what i've already built so that being said what it talks about in this book is habit tracking that's just like one little thing you can do so what i started doing this week is i noted two different colors for tiktok and walking and 
I have to color it in every single time I've done it. So I actually am needing to color this one in and this one in since it's Saturday. And then in addition to that, on the calendar page, I'm doing this little snake figure and I'm just gonna help them connect. And it's just a fun little way, again, to kind of have a visual guide of your habits, what you've been doing, how you've been staying on track and things like that. So definitely would recommend picking up this book and also just finding a way to keep your habits in order. But went for a walk and then we went to our little like downtown area they were giving away free trees so we got a star fruit tree and then some random non citrus tree so i definitely recommend following your downtown community because they're always doing like random happenings and little events then we went and toured a wedding venue well two wedding venues one of them we just passed by it was a hotel that is super cute and i was like let's just go look at it i didn't have a tour scheduled or anything but i just wanted to go see it it's just too small and then the second place we actually had a meeting set up so we toured it and it was a really cute option but we still kind of like the idea of an all-inclusive like slash weekend getaway so we're leaning towards that but we'll see so we're just gonna chill it's a very rainy ugly day out it's actually raining and uh yeah not not super nice out it's pretty gloomy so we're just gonna chill i have a five-day trade show coming up so i actually need to start getting myself a little bit prepared for that packing um because i'm not gonna be home all week so kind of having my life in order for the next week which includes kind of setting up some of these habits like if one of my habits is i want to film a tiktok every single day or at least post a tiktok every single day that means i need to one either think about what i'm going to be posting while i'm on the road or i need to pre-plan and pre-film um kind of in advance so i have stuff that i can easily Easily just edit and you know get up while I can so again just just a day of preparation relaxing it's Saturday so hope hopefully y'all are having a good weekend as well I definitely plan to have this video up by Monday so I'm gonna get back hopefully into somewhat of a structure of posting and this week it's gonna be Monday so cheers to new vlogs and I hope you guys are having a great start to your weekend it's another gloomy day. I'm still wearing my lacy shirt from yesterday, but to be honest, if I sleep in something, like I wore that after I got home from checking out the venue, and if I sleep in something, I say it's acceptable to wear it to the gym, and quite honestly, I just don't care. However, I am also starting to think that the reason why the gym girlies got it going on and how they're consistent is they have cute workout clothes. So let me know if you're a gym girly and that's true, that I need to invest in some better workout clothes. Because I'm not going to lie, right now my workout fits are just not hitting that hard. Also, I did a little TikTok, which if you do not follow me on TikTok, please go check out my videos on there. I am trying to post more frequently. Obviously, in this vlog, I even said I'm posting once a day. So, I'm posting just random content on there that you're maybe not seeing on YouTube. But that being said, I love the Laneige um, Lip Glowy Balm. Laneige, Laneige, I'm not really sure. But I love it. This is my second time purchasing it. I think it's better than the Dior Lip Oil. I've actually made two videos now saying that I think it's better than the Dior lip oil and it's a lot more affordable and I like purchasing it when I can get it in a set with the overnight lip mask so definitely recommend that but I okay I kind of look like a mask right now um I'm gonna lint roll myself real quick but then I am gonna run into Whole Foods and make an Amazon return which I love that you can do that like it, it really is just so easy I bought these little lights to kind of give myself some ambiance in my bedroom uh these lights that you just like put behind the tv or a mirror or a window or whatever and they're just a little bit too big like <laughs> this is a hundred feet I could, you know, wrap this around my room so many different times. So I'm not going to do that. I'm going to return it also because it was like $15. And nothing's wrong with it, but it just, um, it's too big. So I'm going to return it and probably get a new one down the line. But I just need one that's not 100 feet. So that's what I'm going to do before my 10 a.m. F45 class. And that's how we're starting off this Sunday. Like I said, another gloomy day. So my tan, not existent, but I am going to self-tan this hair. Does anybody else use their spit to just kind of slick back their hair sometimes? I'm really letting my grime show today. But uh, I'm going to self-tan today because I have that five-day trade show. And um, I have to try and close for buyers. So I'm going to try and spice the skin up because what is going on? This is why people talk about getting a tanning membership in the winter. And listen, I live in Florida. But you see this, this sun? not existent it hasn't been existent for well over a month i have not been in the sun i don't think since november 
So we're gonna fix that today and I'm gonna show you the self tanner that I use from Walmart that's under 10 bucks and is super affordable, which actually reminds me that's probably what I should film my TikTok on today is that self tanner because it's pretty solid. So anyways, let's go get this gym working in. Let's get this return going and happy Sunday. Austin's doing up a little stir fry over there, which looks good, but I ran a Trader Joe's after the gym, which no, I didn't film any of my gym clips, so I apologize for that. I picked up these strawberry freeze dried. I'm gonna put this on top of oatmeal. I'm staying at a hotel for a week for work, so I'm gonna have no sorts of breakfast, so I figured this would make my oatmeal a little bit better. These savory thin crackers from Trader Joe's are amazing. I'm gonna probably have tuna at some point today, and I'll eat some of these with that. Another snack item, I love these seaweed, the roasted teriyaki seaweeds from Trader Joe's, so good. If you get salmon and make like a salmon bowl with this, Oh my gosh, delicious, but I also like eating it by itself. Eggs, typical. This oatmeal was one of the better ingredients for prepackaged oatmeal, so that's the one I got. It has whole grain oats, quinoa, of course not focusing, there we go. Flax seeds and chia seeds, so we're gonna have this with the freeze-dried strawberries. Just Mango is a wonderful snack, got this for the road as well. Same with the trail mix. Just some stuff to have in my room, so if I'm hungry. I got one apple, probably will eat that today with some peanut butter. This is also for the road organic lentil vegetable soup, just so I have a quick and easy meal idea. And then I also have chicken down here, chicken breast, rice, and broccoli. I'm gonna put this in the crock pot for dinner tonight. This is my task at hand. This is my Monstera plant, which I'm so proud of it. It's grown so well. Like, look at how big this leaf is, however, this one too. I sprayed antisectal spray on it because there was bugs in the soil and I basically killed a lot of my leaves. This is my camera case from Amazon, by the way. That's what I'm holding in my hand, but killed a bunch of the leaves. So anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna try and revive them, but I'm gonna put it in the corner because it's been outdoors or like in my patio and I think it's been a little bit too hot and that's where they say bugs thrive. So let's see if I could do this. a lot harder than it looks. Not horrible, but I'm gonna see how it takes. I tried my best. So let's see if this thing actually blossoms and RIP to that leaf. Here's the thing, I know there's been so many people that say liquid IV is just glorified sugar. Um, this is the tangerine with the immune support, but here's the thing. When I know I need to drink more water and I don't wanna drink more water, this helps. And if this is gonna help me drink more water, I'm gonna drink it. Um, I don't buy it, they sent me these a while back, so I'm kinda just remembering I have them and drinking them when I think that I need a boost. These are my two options for body lotion, the Trader Joe's Lemongrass Coconut Body Oil. I actually really like this stuff. It does just take a little bit to dry in your body. And then I have the Equate Beauty Cocoa Divine. Listen, I think the Trader Joe's is definitely a good mix between ingredient conscious and budget friendly, whereas I think whoop, the Equate, um, oh. <laughs> I didn't know she was down there. Sorry, my room is a mess. This is just an honest vlog right now because we're just trying to get it done before I leave this week. This is what the tan looks like. It has a little bit of a lavender hue. 